So now in this series of videos what we're going to do is I'm going to just remind you guys on how to take the derivative and basically this is applicable to anyone doing the CAPS curriculum because in that curriculum we are only required to know how to take the derivative using the power rule. Okay. So the first example we're going to look at is how do we take the derivative, right? If y is equal to x squared plus 3. Okay. Now, as stated, um, in order for us to take the derivative of this function, right, we're going to need something called the power rule. Okay. So now the power rule is just a differentiation technique that we use, right, which helps us to do what is called term by term differentiation. Okay. So in other words, we go through our function, right, and we differentiate each term individually. Okay. So the requirements is that your function basically has to be made up of terms which are in this form. Okay? So you need to have the form a times x to some exponent n. Right? So you have a coefficient right, times x to some exponent. Right? So now when your term is in this form, then you can simply differentiate it. Right? And if prime of x right, will just be equals to a times n times x to the exponent n minus 1, okay? So in short, what we're really doing is that we are multiplying your coefficient by that exponent and then reducing that exponent by a value of 1, okay? That is the power rule, okay? Now let's see how does this rule apply to this function y, okay, is equals to x squared plus 3. Right, so now this is a basic function, okay, and you can see that we have two different terms, right. The first term that we have is this x squared, okay. And the second term that we have is this 3, okay. Now we're going to think of this 3 in a different form, right. If we think of this as just 3, right, times x to the exponent of 0, right, that means exactly the same thing as just the constant value of 3, right. So if we think of it as 3 times x to the exponent of 0, right, these two things are equivalent to each other because we know that any base, right, raised to an exponent of 0 is equal to 1, right. So we basically haven't changed the value of this constant, okay? So now we have all our terms, right, which is these two terms, right, in the form a times x to some exponent, right? So now we can take the derivative, right, and in this case, right, because our function is called y, right, the notation which actually indicates that we are now taking the derivative is going to be dy by dx. Now, when you use this notation, you have to, as your next step, actually take the derivative, right? So, for the first um, term, right, which is this term here in blue, right? That is just going to become, right, we have a coefficient of 1 over here, right? So, we're going to have 1 times 2, which is still 2. And then we're going to have that base x, right? And then we just need to reduce this exponent by a value of 1. Okay, so 2 minus 1 is an exponent of 1. Okay, we still have our plus sign that didn't go anywhere. Okay, now for the second term, that is going to differentiate into 3 times 0, right? Which is going to be 0. Okay, and anything times 0 is 0, so there's no use even carrying on. So we know that this is just going to be 0. Right. So you can learn the rule that says that the derivative of a constant, right, and a constant is just a number like this, right, you can learn the rule that the derivative of a constant is equal to 0, right, or whenever you see a constant, you can rewrite that constant as 3, right, or that whatever that constant is, it doesn't necessarily have to be a value of 3, right, you can rewrite it as that value, right, times x to the exponent of 0, okay. 
So then from here, we can see that we already have our derivative, right? So simplifying dy by dx is going to be equals to 2x. And that's it.